Got a vulture. The way we deal with those guys is we get a, a little bit ahead of them and then we just jump off and... Oh shit! Well, so much for that. We can't do it when we got a bunch of zombies around. Did not reload my weapon. Shame on me. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play on the insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. This entire map is made up of a wasteland from nitrogen generated by nitrogen, except for a small green bomb, which we are on the lookout for. We're trying to find it. Um, however, we are, uh, we've been in this uh, town, in the wasteland, for quite some time now, and I'm about ready to leave. But there's a couple things I want to do before we actually leave, and... So I spent the last day and a half or so off camera. You can see it's day 17 now. Uh, just doing a bunch of, you know, wrenching of cars and looting and uh, not of POIs so much, uh, but, you know, trees and out in the wild. And I've been kind of keeping my eyes peeled for, you know, a nitrate deposit. And I have not actually found one near town so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to, oh, and I found a shotgun messiah over here too, which we'll, which we'll loot at some point. Uh, we got a couple airdrops too. In fact, we have three air or four airdrops at large. So I figured what we do in this episode is we we go check out the airdrops, and we would retrace our steps back to our other locations and just get uh, whatever you know valuable stuff I left behind at those locations. Um, so well, this is going to be kind of a road trip episode. So let's go ahead and. Head over to drop four first. This one was actually really close. Um, I was doing some other stuff in town when it when it fell, and uh, it it fell pretty damn close to town. So uh, we could find it just about any time here. So we're gonna go across the wasteland. We're gonna keep our eyes peeled for uh, for landmines, of course, as usual. We will stop for cars and birds' nests and trees. Uh, we're getting the trees because, you know, we need the wood, of course, but we also get coal from the from the burnt trees. It's not a lot, but it's some, you know. And we're bringing the auger with us in case we happen to find a nitrate node. And if we don't find anything at all, at least we know where one is back where we first started. And incidentally, I found uh, the full auto mod schematic in some loot. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and read that i wanted to save that so i could show that to you guys on camera all right so yeah we'll hit cars we'll hit birds nests we'll hit uh, the big burnt trees as we come across them as we work our way towards this uh drop which should be somewhere pretty close out this way okay we got a dog and a zombie right over there Uh, we got a transformer. I've been hitting those transformers too to get in this uh, to get the steel. We get a little bit of iron, some iron ingots off it too, but mostly for the steel. That dog is really close by. We're probably gonna get the dog and uh, I got that bug where the frickin' wrench gets stuck to the toolbar. So let's take out the dog and probably the other zombie too that's going to come this way. She's, uh, yeah, she's probably going to hear us. Oh, do we have two dogs? No, I think that's the same dog. He just wandered off a little further that direction. Okay. I don't really like the idea of taking both of those on, both of them on at the same time. So what we're gonna do? Man, that irritates the hell out of me. Um. Okay. I didn't have time to do this. 
Okay. Come on, turret. This is broken. Shit. All right. Make me get out the freaking shotgun. <laughs> it didn't go so well. All right. Well, anyway, whatever. Um, let's uh, do a bandage, normal bandage. We're trying to conserve these for dire situations. We got lots of pain pills. Plenty of water to drink after taking them, so... Turret didn't seem very interested in shooting up Nurse Nancy. I wonder if the mini bike was in the way. Maybe that's what it was. Oh, okay. I hate it when the wrench gets stuck on the damn toolbar. The only way to fix it is to log, but I don't really want to re-log right now. Okay, let's uh, let's get you back down here. Where is my knife? Oh, I finally have a full stack of crossbow bolts and then some, which is nice. Did a bunch of mining last night. Got a ton of stone, uh, over a full stack of stone. Oh yeah, and we've got uh, we got about five thousand gas plus. You know, I've, I've used a bunch with the auger with the mining too. Uh, so we continue to you know collect the gas. I'd like to get to the point where we have like a full stack of it, and we, and we will get there eventually. I just kind of keep using it as I get it. All right, um, let's hit these two cars and these two tr burnt trees. And then we'll keep looking for... Okay, there's a zombie bear over there. He sh I don't think he's close enough to bother us. He might if I use the chainsaw, so I don't think I will. I think I'll just use the axe. Wow, look at that stuff. That's all going right in the forge, though. <laughs> I put a point into mother load since I was doing the mining. But I think now what we're going to do is we're going to start focusing on perception and fast tracking that so that we can get lucky looter and salvage operations up to at least level four. So that's kind of the next thing on the agenda in terms of our our uh, perks and skills. Okay, let's uh Where the hell's my axe? There it is. Sometimes my eyeballs just even though it's right there in front of me, it it doesn't see it. <laughs> Don't know what's up with that, but hope this uh, tree crash coming down doesn't alert that bear. He's kind of close. Do I, is there any stones nearby? Yeah, here's one. Okay. That sh he should be far enough away now. I don't want to take on a zombie bear right now. Because uh, that would take a lot of ammo. Ammo that we don't have an abundance of right now. Okay. Oh, we got a road down here. I'm just trying to see if I, <coughs> if I can spot the drop. It should be somewhere around here because, like I said, it was not very far away at all possible we even passed it. It was that close. I think that's brick. Okay. Yeah, so we've a we've actually reached the point that I marked, but let's go a little further. Oh, 
Oh, nice. We've got 14762s out of that. That's a great find. Dog and the bear and a zombie just right on over that way. Go up this hill. We got two Zeekers right over there. Boy, I am not spotting that drop. It is really hard to see those. Oh! Wow! Okay. Fortunately for us, that didn't really hurt us and it didn't really hurt our bike. <laughs> <laughs> I was so busy looking looking on the horizon for the drop that I wasn't paying attention to the ground. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. Let's deal with these two yahoos. Here, let's go a little further out. Um, and then we'll we'll go up and get that transformer and that'll put us up really high and then we'll take a, a really good look around when we're up there. They're kind of actually moving away from us. The bear's not, though. Okay, here, let's just do this then. Let's leave that there. I don't know why I'm putting that stuff in there. We're just going to... Here, we sh what we should be doing is putting the extra crossbow bolts in there. Okay. Oh, I also found a pair of... You know what? I actually want to go up here, because that way they'll stay attached to the pole. Even though that pole would be really easy for the zombie to take down. Um, I also found a pair of, of coveralls, too. So now we are wearing, or I guess overalls, we're wearing those. Wow, we didn't get any steel at all off of that. And we aggroed him on top of it. Alright. He's going to probably break things, so... but out of range of our turret, I guess. We already looted that, right? Yeah. There's a bird's nest over there. Got him. All right. Now, let's go back up real high here and just look around and see if we can spot that drop if we don't spot it fairly soon we're going to move on because i don't want to spend all day looking for this thing uh whatever we're wearing right now is better i think we have like yellow iron gloves so we're just going to scrap those That drop, uh... There 
There's that old bar. Yeah, I'm just not seeing it. I am just not seeing it. That's where I kind of guesstimated it would be. Um, I was like over, I think I was over by the Shaka Messiah when I saw that. You know, I might, I might just be too far out. I mean, I've been kind of overestimating these. So let's go back the way we came. Stay away from the bear. So our line would have been right in around through here. I'm trying to watch the horizon and watch the ground at the same time. <laughs> We do have a little bit of a of a height that oh there it is right there okay cool see that was actually pretty close it was hiding behind uh, this probably that's probably why we couldn't see it from up where we were all right let's see what we got lots of food we're gonna scrap those and we'll hang on to these because we might come across them. Um, some of the recipes soon that require that. All right, this gives five max stamina, so let's just eat one of those right now. We'll scrap those. Uh, you know what we're going to do? Let's go back to the base and just drop stuff off at our drop-off chests before we actually head on out. Um, and that was drop four, too, so let's get rid of that off the map. Screamer. All right, let's avoid her, because I don't want her to call in a horde right now. Well, I don't want her to call in a horde at any time, but particularly not right now. So we'll use this drop chest. All right, so let's put... Uh, we'll, we'll take this food with us. Okay. All right, so we need to go... This is... We have some stuff at this barn here. I don't remember leaving anything really substantial there, though. So let's let's skip that for now. Um, we need to find the road. I think it's this road here. So we'll go back... You know, to this place. This is was the this was the junkyard and the the place that we got ganked by those zombies. This is our first little base, and then this is where we went to and found like a working workbench and another airdrop that we never actually were able to find. So, but yeah, we've got a, a shotgun messiah um, over this way, and I think we've pretty much explored this entire town. So we'll hit that shoddy messiah before we leave. But I think we're getting pretty close to, to heading on out. Put it this way. If I do too much more 
in this town, I'll probably do most of it off camera. Because I know you guys are probably anxious for me to get, get moving. All right. Whoa. I'll hit cars on the way back, uh, probably after I let you guys go. So we're going to want to turn left here. Oh, shit. Got a vulture. The way we deal with those guys is we get a, a little bit ahead of them, and then we just jump off and... Oh, shit. Well, so much for that. We can't do it when we got a bunch of zombies around. Did not reload my weapon. Shame on me. See, this would be a lot harder to do on a bicycle, though. <laughs> I mean, it would be seriously a lot harder. That might have been like one of our very first uh, thingies that we put up. All right, come on, you bastard. Are those guys still chasing us? Oh, now, now my wrench decided to uh, unlock from the toolbar. That's just really weird that it does that. All right, so the buzzard hit us. Let's take a pill. I don't think we need to take a bandage. I don't really remember everything that we left behind. I know we left behind some tires. Make sure these son of a bitches are loaded, man. Yeah, I, rem <laughs> I remember this hogback road here. Another one of our little platforms. Okay, I don't think we left anything in that junkyard. We did loot the safe in it. Oh, shit. Stupid buzzard. Come at me, bro. Here, let's see if we can sledgehammer this guy. have to work on our timing. Seriously, you're not dead? What the hell? <laughs> we just knocked out a buzzard. Have you ever seen such a thing? That was awesome. <laughs> we knocked out a freaking buzzard. Oh man, that was funny. Alright, take another painville. I should probably put some points in the A science so I can make some damn bandages, but if that doesn't really make sense for us to do until we get a, a garden going with a bunch of aloe. And I do have aloe seed. But that I'm not planning on doing that till we find the green biome. Okay, so let's see. We left a chest. Well, we certainly would have looted that, yeah. Let's, uh... We're still kind of hurt. You know what? I'm going to burn bandage. What the hell? Alright, so we made ourselves a little hideout thingamadoodle up here and put some stuff in the chest. But the, the sleeping bag that's up there is no longer active. So there's not really any reason to keep anything here, so let's just grab all of it. Yeah, that stuff's definitely worth grabbing for sure. Is this pistol better than the one we got? It is! No, it isn't. Never mind. Never mind. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, that's this is all we need to pick up in this location. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's grab these plants, too.
But we're gonna save them. So we can make seeds out of them. There was something else. There was another field or, or something here, too, that we saw. It's like a potato patch or something. Yeah, where it says spuds. Let's grab those, too. We're going to aggro this guy. Digging up some of this clay either while we're here. Uh, where's my shovel? I'm going to dig some clay up here. I probably will not show this on camera. So give me about, I don't know, five minutes or so to do that. Because we're kind of low on clay and it's just so easy to get right here. I'm not going to use the auger though because that's just going to attract too much attention. Alright, I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Okay. Can we get out of here? There we go. So we got uh, 1,274 clay out of that deal. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, you son of a... Frickin' buzzards. Feather delivery, man. That's what it is. That's how, that's how we have to look at it. It's feather delivery. And we got 18 feathers from it, too. That's not so bad. Uh, all right. Let's put those in there. Uh, I think I'm just going to wait and let our uh, natural healing take care of that. Uh, we should probably eat this, though. We're pretty good on hydration. Let's uh, get these guys... A little more loaded up now that we found a few 762s. Okay, so we no longer need spuds and blueberries because we got all that done. There's a little green patch off to the left. I think that's the one we just looted though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's the one we just looted that had the chrysanthemum and stuff in it. Okay. Yo, oh, shit. Stay away from the landmines. Dude. <laughs> There's a bird's nest. Did we loot that? We didn't. I'm not going to leave this cement behind. We should have a big, nice, juicy batch of concrete for the next Horde night. Did we loot this? Yeah, we did. Did we loot this? Oh. I think I do actually remember looting that, but... Uh, okay, we have some stuff in this junkyard, too, now that I think about it. Glad I remember... Oh, shit. That was close. <laughs> I'm glad I remembered it. Ooh, there's another one. Damn, landmines are all over the place. Motorcycle chassis. Yeah, man, 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 if we could find the uh, the handlebars. We don't need the moldy bread. I have not had any trouble at all in Alpha 18 
gathering up enough antibiotics between the the honey, the herbals, and the you know the actual the the real ones. I just have never had to actually make antibiotics in Alpha 18. I don't remember what we left over here, but I do remember leaving. I'm pretty sure we left something here. Oh yeah, we left a lot of stuff here. Okay, um, let's scrap this. Scrap that. Blunderbuss ammo, we don't need that anymore. So we'll scrap that. We'll scrap the leather hood. Uh, the blunderbuss itself will scrap. No room in queue. Oh, right, okay. Damn, we're going to be full up before we even get back to our original base. <sighs> okay. We really should put stuff in here that's not something we're going to wrench from a car. Or, or, you know, that's not stackable either. So that would mean, like, cement. We want to keep the engine in there and the battery... Mechanical parts, oil, paper. We probably are going to come across more cement at some, <clears throat> excuse me, some point too, so we should keep that in our inventory. Probably come across more feathers. Okay, machine gun parts, we should hang on to those. Yeah, our queue is like all fill up, fold up, fold up, filled, filled. That's what I'm trying to say, filled up. We should keep leather in our inventory. Thing is, though, I mean, well, there's it's not going to do us any good to scrap that stuff unless we get another one. Okay, so let's see. Machine gun parts we can put in here. Headlamps, we'll put the chainsaw in here. Oh, I've... I was gonna tell you guys, I found it actually found a chainsaw in a in a workbench in one of the POIs back in our other town. I guess you're wondering where I got that. It's a shit one, but you know, it works. You don't really need a, a high level chainsaw anyway. I mean it, it's useful because it, it'll cut the trees down more quickly, but not super essential. Uh alright. The paper, I guess we'll put that in there. I mean we gotta put something in there. Can we scrap this now? Nope, we're still full. You know what? I think all we're going to get off of that is some stone anyway. Man, we, that's a bunch of brass. No wonder it's taking so long. But that's good, though. That's a good problem to have. Okay, well, let's just go. We're, we're wasting time. So we're we're done here. Now we're going to go back to... I don't remember if I left anything here or not, but we definitely left stuff there. Yeah, never mind. I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll take care of cars later. Just, make, just making sure we're on the right road here. Oh yeah, that's that floating stump. I remember that. <laughs> We walked all this way on foot. So glad we got the mini bike now. It's just, it really is a game changer. Big time game changer. And you know, as long as we ha have plenty of shotgun uh, shells and whatnot, the buzzards are manageable. Oh, 
Meat delivery. Come here, buddy. Beautiful. All right, where's my knife? Oh, it's already on my toolbar. Edgar over there. You know, there's a shotgun messiah crate up on those overpasses. There's usually also one or two sleepers and maybe some buzzards too. I don't know. Let's go check it out though. The crate's, I think, on the other side of the car. Shit. Edgar, I don't have time to screw around with you. Everybody good? You guys are all loaded? Okay. I got stuck on this stupid uh, piece of iron. Get that out of the way. We're free, right? Yeah, okay. Just wanted to double check there. Okay, let's put the brass in here and the meat and the paper. We're going to get rid of the stone. We don't need be carrying that around right now. Okay, so we're going to climb up here, but we are going to run into a sleeper, so we're probably just going to have to shoot it, but there is a shoddy messiah crate right there. Well, at least I think it's a shoddy messiah crate. It's a it's, you know, one of the one of the crates. We need to go out one. Yeah, it's a shotgun beside crate. Is there any chance at all that we can open it up without alerting the sleeper up there? These are nice. The other stuff it's okay, but it's not really stuff we need right now, but you know what? We'll keep it. You never know. Um, let's see if we, there's something we can put that on right now. We'll put all the other parts and I don't know, do we have a weapon? All of our weapons are, are modded and they're, they only have one slot. Oh, this isn't modded. Will that fit on there? It sure enough will. Look at that. Okay. More important to put it on there to give it a little more damage than anything else. Okay, we should be able to put these on here. That makes us just a tiny bit quieter. All right, let's move on. I think I'm going to skip over cars for now. Let's just get over there. That's the the first original cabin that we first took over, but it doesn't have anything in it. I, I, I grabbed everything out of there when we moved, so. Oh, that's right, we gotta reload this. up the road here. Okay, this is a nitrate mine. I'm going to actually mark it. 
And I'll probably come back here off camera and just mine a bunch of nitrate up. I thought I saw another one of those somewhere else, but I don't remember where it was. Is this road... Oh, shit. I think this road goes over there, right? Pretty sure it does. Yeah. Just follow the road. We squeeze through there? Yep, sure enough. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, we got sleepers. Wow, they didn't even wake up. Okay, let's just go around the back. Okay, so we are completely filled up in the bike. Doesn't look like there's anything else I can put in there. We can put some feathers in there. Uh, that looks like that's probably about it. Let's scrap these. We've got a buttload of those back at the base, so we don't need to carry them around with us right now. that chest got a sleepy down there okay so what did we leave behind I will want we already have two anvils let's take the steel tool parts and the brass and the bullet casings this stuff is really easy to get I can even make hammers now um, can I make wrenches yeah, I can make wrenches too. So it doesn't really make sense to take any of this with us. Oh, this on the other hand. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I forgot all about those nine millimeters. Let's take the seeds. Let's take the pipe bombs. Um, what else? Let's take the wheels. There's there is an orange chainsaw. We'll take is it well actually is that better than the one we have? I don't know. We'll have to check it. Uh, let's take all that nitrate and the lock picks. Oh, and the steel. Okay, we got two more slots. <laughs> two more slots. What is the most important thing we need to take back with us right now? I mean, we got lots of acid back at the base. Here, we can take the gas. Oh, the oil's valuable. The paper, that's a lot of paper. We can make a lot of shotgun shells with that. Sewing kits, valuable. I don't know, man. Um, let's grab the sewing kits, I guess, and the oil. I would grab the acid, except for, I, like I said, I already have lots of acid back at the other base. The chamois probably would, maybe we should grab those, because we got vitamins back at the base. Because food's still, you know, we, we haven't gotten to the point where food is not an issue. We've kept it under control, but we do not have an abundance of it. So, yeah, I think that's good. Uh, we can take a bone. Is there any, yeah, we can take all the leather. I forgot to check stuff that I've already got we could, that we could stack, so let's look at that really quick, too. Shut up! We should be able to take those and those. Oh, yeah, we already had oil. And we have mechanical parts. Yeah. 
I'm glad I remember to check that. Goodness gracious. We can scrap those. I don't have any lead in here, do I? I don't think so. Okay. I think I'm going to leave the rest of this here. That would make a hell of a lot of shotgun shells, though, wouldn't it? What could we, uh... What could we give up for that? Boy, I don't know, man. We don't need two chainsaws, but I'm going to scrap the other one and get the motor tool parts. Those are valuable. Those are really valuable. I suppose the bones we could leave because that's pretty easy to come by. Bones versus 245 paper. Yeah, let's do that. We've got lots of glue. we got lots of duct tape. It's not like we're desperate for that stuff. Okay, let's go. Oh, he damaged that. We are like so encumbered right now. See ya, sucker. I've already looted that bag. All right, guys. Well, um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go back to the little nitrate deposit and mine up a bunch of nitrate. And then uh, we'll head back to the to our, our main town. I'll get all my inventory situated. Tomorrow, we'll loot the Shaka Messiah store, and then I think we'll be ready to move on. So that's the plan, and then we will keep searching for the green biome. And I'm going to pick up all of the... There's no way I missed this bird's nest. <laughs> I was going to say. I'm going to pick up all of the... Um... the workstations that we've made and bring those with us. Where? Oh, I must have dropped my coal off. Uh, is there anything at all in here I can stack? The paper? Yeah, the paper. Okay. So I want to get the coal from this tree. <coughs> it's just a normal lamppost. So yeah, that's the that's the plan. So yeah, next next episode, which will be tomorrow morning in game day. That's the plan for the moment anyway, unless I decide to take another day uh, off camera just to do a bunch of looting and stuff. Uh, we will do the shotgun messiah, and then we will get ready to go back on the road and continue our search for the paradise biome, the green paradise biome. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.